Hello and welcome to another amazing day here in Arizona. This is Carl with AIC Reductions. Um, it hit about 116 today, which is a bit warm outside. Uh, it's really discouraging to go out and do much of anything uh, outside. So I've been inside working on my Ethereum mining machine again. Uh, I got my third graphics card working, as you can see here. Um, one, two, and three. Uh, I did have to buy this cable here to get that uh, third one working what I actually had to do is thread this cable between the cowl of the first uh, graphics cards um, heatsink and the heatsink itself to be able to plug in behind the heatsink shroud and fed it out the side I spent some time getting, getting the cabling in order inside the case um, it's not perfect but it's a lot better than it was um, and so I uh, yeah I needed this to to get that working so if you think of doing three graphics cards um, you may want to consider throwing this into your case or me, into your order uh, just so that you can fit those those cards in I did need to use one of these uh, with the motherboard setup that I have so this is my results from my mining pool I go back to all um, this is what you can see here where I started this was with what just one graphics card here at the very beginning um, where let me see if I can shrink this down I had it running just a few minutes with one graphics card just to get it working um, and then I removed the excuse me, I went to install the second graphics card and it crashed the computer and I ended up having to reinstall Windows and so that took a while, took me a few hours to get that going. And so this is where I got it with both graphics cards in there, or two of the three graphics cards I should say. And it was working great and then I went to bed at about one o'clock and the machine then went to sleep. I had forgotten to change the power settings. So if you're looking to do this, make sure you change your power settings uh, to make sure you, uh, your system doesn't turn off on you automatically. And then this is where the next morning where I realized what happened, I turned it on and I have very consistent 24 mega hash a second with the two cards. Um, these are the shares and the calculated hash rate that you get. Um, I don't know exactly what determines those um, at this point. We go along, this is all day, yeah, the day before yesterday and yesterday. And then we come into today and when I got off of work this afternoon, um, I shut the machine off and I installed my third graphics card. And you can see here, I've been having some issues with it. Um, it was working okay, and then I started to overclock it a little bit um, using this tool. I looked online and looked for some overclocking suggestions, and I think I have it clocked a little too high. I had it clocked per the suggestions. They said you get up to now I'm not overclocking the GPU but the memory only and it looked like the, um, the average was about 8,000 uh, so I'm actually going to detune it now uh, I'll do uh, let's do 7800 let's see where we go get with that it did just crash on me a few moments ago I think part of that though is that I was um, trying to do multiple things at once. So when I have this set up, let me open that here. You go into the settings, so this little tool here, synchronized settings for similar graphics pro processors. So all three are being applied with this same setting. Now I'm not getting the same result out of each graphics card, which is interesting to me, but I am getting applying the same settings to them. Go ahead and minimize that. Now one thing to note. Um, the graphics card I purchased, I paid $139.99 plus tax, um, so it ended up being about $140 a card. They're now going on Amazon for about $200. Um, if you go to Newegg, they are still $149.99 with $5 shipping, but uh, you're only limited to one. So you're going to have to do some shopping around uh, to get your graphics cards. Um, I'm not surprised the price has gone up on these this much. In fact, I'm surprised it hasn't gone up more. So if you're looking to getting into this, um, definitely the sooner the better. If nothing else, buy the graphics cards because um, when the price goes up, 
it takes longer for you to get your return on investment. And if you buy them and you decide not to do it, then yeah, you can sell your cards for a profit. Um, in fact, I could probably turn around and sell my cards for a profit if I wanted to. I'm not going to because I'm doing this specifically for mining. So right now my mining is not running, so let's go ahead and start that up here. It's just this icon here, it, it's a shortcut to a batch file. It shows here my uh, three graphics cards. This takes a minute to kind of get everything going. Alright, so we're getting a total of 37.64 mega hash a second. We're getting 12.6, 12.8, and 12.1 out of the graphics cards. Um, how it's typically been is GPU zero or the first GPU runs cooler than the second one, second one runs cooler than the third one. Um, this one's GPU two has been pushing 71, 72 degrees Celsius. These are in the low 60s. I think that's because of location, how I have it placed. There's no good way for me to install that third graphics card, so it's just sitting in the bottom of my case right now, um, which I know is not the best, but it's what I can do. So let's go back here for a second. So on this page, some of the information that's important, um, the black bar that goes along this graph here tells you what your um, mega hash is, your reported mega hash. So that gives you an idea of what you're looking for as far as your calculations. Um, the orange is your uh, calculated hash rate and I apologize I don't know how that's calculated. Um, but it has to do specifically with how many shares you get. So the more calculated hash rate, the more shares you earn. And the more shares you earn, the more um, Ethereum you earn. This is my current balance of Ethereum. Let's refresh this here. Yeah, this is my current balance um, at current prices. Prices have been kind of all over today. I'll grab a calculator here. Uh, I have 0.01222842. Prices have been around $240, $241 today. So I've made about $2.93 um, with my total. Hopefully that will go up significantly with the three cards running uh, per day. My goal was about $3 to $4 per day earnings on this. So we will see where that gets us to down here. This is my machine name. You can have multiple uh, machines pointed to the same um, pool here. Uh, you want to be careful with that though, because if you have like an older laptop or something like that, the amount it adds to the pool um, will not be enough to cover the electrical cost possibly. You want to make sure you put in enough to where you want to make sure something you put in isn't dragging you down burning more electricity than you're earning with Ethereum. Uh, down here, uh, this tells you when the last time you were, your balance was added to. This ratings is the number of shares you've earned. This, because it wasn't running, isn't zero, but this will give you your um, current hash rate. Um, this is your average of the last six hours, and again, this is um, your reported, but right now it's zero for me because uh, it was off. So this can take up to 30 to 45 minutes to update. Um, this can take up to four hours to update. Um, a lot of times it's faster than that, but I've seen it be as many as four hours behind. Um, sometimes if I've done uh, a lot of refreshing one web browser, if I go to another web browser, it will be more up to date. In this case, it's not. This is as up to date as it currently is. So anyways, that's my results so far. Uh, I've been mostly doing it with the two graphics cards. I just upgraded to the three graphics cards. 
hopefully we will uh, be seeing some profit from this. Um, right now, with the two graphics card, it's going to take me about four and a half months to get a return on my investment. Uh, when I, with the three graphics cards, I'm hoping to to cut that down significantly to two and a half, maybe three months to return on investment. I do have close to $900 invested in my machine between the hardware, the parts, accessories um, for it. And now I am including the keyboard and mouse because I would not have bought those if I was not building a machine. Um, you can definitely do it cheaper if you're willing to go with a much lower end CPU because this has very little to do with the CPU. The CPU is there just to run the machine. So if you're to go with a Celeron or even a used Pentium processor, you can go with an extremely inexpensive uh, CPU. Um, you can go with DDR3 memory. I have DDR4, which is more expensive if you go with DDR4. So you can definitely do something a little bit cheaper. Um, but for me personally, I felt that this was the least expensive way to have a proper machine, something that I would use whether the Ethereum mining works out or not um, and not have just wasted money on the hardware. So uh, the one thing I will say as well, it is a little bit of a space heater <laughs> with the three cards running full tilt the way they are right now. Um, it's not horrible, it's not the worst. Um, my other desktop actually is far, uh, far worse as far as heat generation. So. Um, but that is something to consider as well. You want to make sure that it's in a room that's well ventilated, gets air conditioning, um, so you don't fry your hardware. So I have mine in my office. I get good air conditioning in here. And with these three cards, it's not that bad. Uh, one of my coworkers who's doing it with uh, four GTX 1070s, um, he actually it cooked him out of his room. He it got way too hot for him uh, to be in the same room with the machine, so he had to relegate it to a different room. So. Something to think about. That's another reason for going with these lower end cards. Is they don't generate as much heat and they don't consume as much electricity. But you're also not getting back the same hashing power that you get on the more expensive, more powerful cards. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions, please ask down in the uh, comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer those. Um, unless I get more specific questions, this may be one of my last videos. Um, on Ethereum mining. Um, happy to do more if people have questions um, about it. I do have links to the hardware I purchased down in the description, uh, or excuse me, in the uh, yeah, description of the video. So please, if you're interested in any of these, use those links. Um, they link to my Amazon affiliate, um, or they're linked through my Amazon affiliate. So I will get a little bit of a kickback on that, which does help me produce these videos and answer these questions for you. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.